Hello and welcome to the Dixie Belle YouTube channel. My name is Melissa and today's project is going to be about all things paint and transfers. This little dresser is a thrift store find and at only $35 it's a total score. Let's talk about the plan for this piece. So for all things pretty, all things pink, and all things transfer, today's video is going to cover all of your bases. I painted this in a very girly look which it's totally not me, but it turned out really, really pretty. I'm quite happy with it. We have a naked top, naked wood. I'm gonna teach you how to get that raw wood look with just a couple of products, as well as deconstruct a transfer and make it fit your space. Because if you paint furniture or you often do these small little makeovers, sometimes your transfer is just not big enough. So we will cover all of that in today's video. I hope that you learned something and have some fun. As always, I begin by inspecting my piece, testing all the drawers and seeing if they work well. This top left drawer has a bit of a sticking problem. Don't worry, we can learn how to fix this with a little bit of sandpaper and some Big Mama's butter. Let's see what else is going on with this little piece. Well, it has about three different styles of wood on it, including the front of this piece being a bird's eye maple veneer that is heavily damaged. The keyholes have been filled in poorly. The edges are chipped and torn. We can fill that in with a little bit of mud and get this piece back to flat. The wheels on this piece are not original either. They are made up of metal and plastic, so I will be using some gilding wax on them to make them pretty as well. Let's get to work on this drawer. In order to make a drawer slide smoothly, you're going to need to sand the bottom tops as well as the underside part of the drawer where the wood on wood glide runs together. If you can remove a little bit of that wood, you should be able to make the drawer glide smoothly. I'm also going to sand down the top of this piece so that we can do a raw wood finish. I always clean my pieces inside and out with white lightning. White lightning is now available in this handy dandy bottle. You can purchase it already mixed and ready to go or you can buy it in the original small container of the powder and then you would mix that with water. Either way this product works great for removing any oils or dirt. Since this piece is built from three different kinds of wood, we are going to be using Bonding Boss in Grey. This is going to be a great base for my light neutral color that I plan on painting this piece. It also will stop any possible bleed through, stains and odor from coming through onto your paint. Bonding Boss does have to wait 24 hours before you begin to paint, so in the meantime let's patch up some holes and add this beautiful Would You Bend molding. Would you bend moldings are super easy to use. All you need to do is heat up the backing of your would you bend, apply wood glue, and adhere it to your piece. I accidentally broke this would you bend in transport, so I will be just using the small little corner piece to stick it back on. You can easily add back in the broken bits and pieces. They just fit together like a little puzzle. I did add a little bit too much glue for this piece, but don't worry, you can just simply wipe back that glue and then use some clamps to hold it onto your project until it is dry. When this is dry, you can paint right over top of it. Let's get to work on those wheels. So since these wheels are not original to the piece, but I do like them because it does give you height on your project, I'm going to paint them entirely in gilding wax. Gilding wax is an oil-based product. This is going to dry rock solid and hard. I can use it on plastic, metal, wood, and I'm going to cover all four of these tiny little wheels and get them looking gold and pretty. I love to use gilding wax on all of my projects, but for little touches like this, you can't beat it. You can apply it with a brush or your finger and it will dry and cure very quickly being an oil-based product. I use Dixie Belle's mud to fill in any of the veneer damages and some of the little surface damages around the holes. So what's the plan for this piece? Well, I said pink and pink it is. This is a beautiful soft pink called Pink Champagne. It is gorgeous, it is pretty, and we are going to paint on two even coats of this beautiful chalk mineral pink color. I will be using two even coats of pink champagne over top of this gray bonding boss. Using a bonding boss before you begin in a gray or a white is really going to enable you to use less amounts of paint, especially when you use a nice light color like this. I continued along and painted the entire dresser, but not the sides of the drawers. I actually took out my surf prep sander and sanded down all of the drawers 
all along the sides to make sure that they slide nice and even as well as not have any overlap of paint to prevent them from closing properly. I then used the rest of my Big Mama's butter to lubricate all of the drawer glides. So now all of those drawers slide evenly. After I was finished sanding them down and giving them that nice fresh look, I did add a little bit of a stencil onto the sides just to break it up a little bit and make it something pretty when the drawers are open. I sanded back all of the edges for a distressed look and then came in with white fluff. Using a chip brush, water, and white fluff to gently soften the pink tones on this dresser and wash it out just a tiny bit. The plan for this piece is the Dragonfly Blooms Transfer. I want to put it on all of the drawers, not the top two, but definitely the bottom ones where they just sit flat against the dresser. The problem was that when I laid out the transfer, it was about two to three inches too small. So we are going to cut up this transfer and find a new way to lay it out to cover up all of the drawers. Transfers are super simple to use and by cutting them up and choosing your design rather than using them as laid out with their initial pattern with the four sheets, you were able to cover a little bit more surface. So I basically took the same pattern that was on the pieces of transfer and just spread it out a little bit further to cover all the way from one drawer to the end. Transfers are super simple to use. I don't want you to be afraid to cut them up, layer them, design them, make them a one of a kind piece for any piece of furniture that you're working on and you will absolutely love the look that you get. Now that those drawers are finished, let's work on the top. I plan to use a little bit of Voodoo Gel Stain. Using the colors White Magic and Au Naturel mixed in with a little bit of water, I'm going to dilute the Voodoo Gel Stain and wipe it into that raw wood finish. This is gonna give me a beautiful natural bleached out look. I sealed this entire dresser, including the top where I applied the Voodoo Gel Stain with clear wax. This is going to keep that finish looking beautiful and natural and seal in my transfers. I added brand new knobs from Hobby Lobby and then this little piece was done. I think the color combination of a soft pink washed with white, that added dragonfly transfer, and then that beautiful natural top makes it look super cottage core. I love the vibe that this piece is giving and it would look perfect in a little girl's room. The new glass knobs from Hobby Lobby were the finishing touch that this piece needed to make it beautiful and elegant. The would you bend on the bottom mimics that gorgeous curved design on the top, and I think that this project was a win.